It's not easy being a elite athlete, being the guy that everybody looked up to even in high school. And I got drafted pretty early, top 10 pick actually. And I decided to go pro in baseball and I don't know if it was the right path for me. So after one year of playing in the minors, I decided to make a really hard decision and to walk away from one of the games that I love. To pursue a dream of being a college quarterback and one day an NFL quarterback. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed in me, but I got to do what I got to do. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome back to the River Cats Dynasty. We kick off SEC play here in Season 5, going up against Arkansas, a team that has already beaten us here in this series. And here we are going up against a team that really predicted to be the last seeded team in the entire conference. So if they don't live up to at least being SEC standard, this team could well be on their way out of the door and into the MAC conference where we just came from. But one thing they do extremely well, get after the passer. Look at these sacks through the first three games. I mean, this is incredible production from their defensive line and their linebackers. It's gonna be tough if they can do that again. So here we go, starting out SEC play on the road at Arkansas. I am excited for this game. And out comes this Arkansas offense. Let's see if they run heavy. First play is a counter play, stop in the backfield. And that is a tackle by Osiris Hovick in the backfield, the true freshman. He rotates with Jake Braun. The second and 12, this time Braun's in the game, but Jonathan Thousand, another true freshman, does stop Casey Carter in the backfield, loss of five yards on the screen pass. So now Ward here from the shotgun, trying to move in the pocket, he throws the left side, and it's deflected, and it's once again another linebacker of ours, Odin Blue, and we get the three and out to start this game. So here is Gunnar Johnson coming off of a loss last week. Let's see if he can make up for it. But we did put up 45 points. It wasn't all his fault. And there's a handoff up the middle. That's J.J. Hollinson for a gain of six. So second and four. Throw to the right side. And Xavier Gonzalvo, he's got it. Room to run. He throws a stiff arm and gets dragged down at about the 12-yard line. And that is a big gain of 43. First down for this River Cats offense. So now inside the 15, Arkansas sends the blitz. We throw it to the left side. Wide open, JJ. Touchdown. 12 yards out. And there we go. We put together a nice little drive that time. And now Arkansas has to answer. It's 7 0. This is kind of a rivalry game St. Louis versus Arkansas. So here's a throw out to the left side. And that is Luke Lewis, the tight end. And he picks up a gain of seven yards. So second and three, this time Ward keeps on the option and he gets hit hard by, uh, that's actually uh, our All-American safety. And now that brings it to a first and 10. Ward throws across the middle, it's Bell again. And has a nice little kid pitch and catch that time, 13 yards. So this time, second and 10 this time. Let's see what they do, handoff, Carter again. He's got a big hole. Fights off Brian York and gets about 16 yards on that one. That is a first down run, and now Arkansas is cooking. You know Arkansas is known for having good running backs. Is a hand right back to Carter to the right side on a third and three, and he barely gets there. He needed three, he got four. And now they are set up with a new fresh set of downs. So running the receiver in motion this time, a counter play. Once again, a tackle by York, but it's a gain of eight yards. It looks like they're gonna blitz. So now at about the 10 yard line this time, we set a little blitz, Ward tries to get out of the pocket. He is sacked and it looks like that was Malik King and it will be him for the sack. And Jonathan Thousand was also there and that brings it to a third and three this time. Ward, option to the right side, he gets tackled. Oh, and he picks up the first down. You gotta be kidding me. They get a new fresh set of downs. So here's a counter play to the right side. Carter tackled at the one. Malik King got him down. So now third and goal this time. Ward under center with two backs in the backfield, and it's a sack. We send the pressure. Brenton Jackson gets in. Nowhere to go for Ward. 
He loses a few yards, and we get them to settle for three. And now here comes our offense after that nice drive to start the game as we hand off to Hollinson once again. Another big carry up the middle. Gain of 11. First down for him. He's looking good off of just two carries as we try to get him going. Johnson throws left side. Back to Hollison. There he is again. He gets swung around and will pick up the first down. Gain of 10 yards for him. So now at about the 32-yard line this time. Play action fake. Johnson throws deep. One-on-one. -on -one. And it's going to be picked off by Richard. We tried to get some mustard on that throw, but we couldn't get enough on it. And, and it, that's actually Zane Storm. He went deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage, I always trust Zane Storm. He's got blazing speed. Instead, it's an interception. So here comes War back on the field, trying to scramble, but he's not getting away. Preston Kinney, and then Corey McDaniel scoops him up. It's a nice sack on that one. Loss of four yards. So we get some news. Bryant Britt will be out for the rest of this game. So the All-American, preseason All-American cornerback will be missing. Throw to left side. Ward is going to fall incomplete. Ja'Cory Reed having himself a great start to this season breaks it up. So third and 14. Throw to the sideline. Almost picked off. Jacob Drackett there for the deflection. And now we start the, fourth, the second quarter here after the punt. So play action hit fake to start out. This time Johnson throws, and it's Zane Storm. He's got it, 17 yards for his first catch of the game. First down, move the chains. We're across the 50. So now Johnson from the shotgun throws across the middle. It's Storm again. He's got it with space, and he can't break free. It's only a gain of six yards. So now second and four, run him in motion this time. Johnson throws to the right side. He's got Hollinson. They sent the pressure. We got rid of it, though. Gain of eight. He's held on to a few passes this game. He's only got, remember, like 12 catching was his rating. He's running an option to left side. This time, Jamal Wilson, he can't get free. That's going to go for about a gain of maybe one. And that brings it to a third and ten. Johnson checks back in. He throws. It's Eric Clue who's got it. He can't get to the first down marker. That's a gain of five yards. You got to think we're going to settle for the field goal, and we do. And Chris stops Ivanov, kicks it, and it makes it a ten to three lead. So here with four minutes left here in the first half. Ward throws across the middle. He's got Bell, who gets hit hard, and that's Jake Braun on the opposite end of that hit. But it's a first down for Arkansas. So now at about the 34-yard line handoff, and that's a big hit. Oh, that's actually Osiris Hovick, I think. No, it's Odin Blue. Nice big hit by him. He's only 5'9". He delivers some pretty big hits. So second and 10, screen pass, and Odin Blue almost gets there. Carter has it, though. He's still on his feet, and he gets spun around. It's a gain of eight for him. And now that brings it to a manageable third and two. They're going to hand it right back to him. Webb is in the game, though. He picks up a first down and more. 23 yards, first down for Mike Webb, the backup running back. And now they're inside a field goal range as they set up here at about the 26. We send the pressure. Ward gets rid of it, though. He finds his running back Carter out of the backfield, and that's a gain of eight for him. So now that brings it to an eventual third and two. We're going to send the blitz on this. We know we're going to run the ball. So here's Ward. Tackle in the backfield. That is Connor Kangas in the backfield. Hasn't played really much. He's been here since inception. Connor Kangas only had two tackles in season one. And I don't know how he's still on the squad, to be honest. He should be off the squad. I don't know how he did not graduate, but he's still on the squad. So they do settle for three as we start the next drive, and that's Ethan Andrews who has it across the middle. Gain of 29 for him. Gunnar Johnson, eight for nine to start this game. So under two minutes left this time. Johnson moves to the right side, throws way back to the left, and it's picked off. Ill-advised throw on that one. Let's just see who he was looking at, though. It looked like Chris Whiteside was all alone. We thought that we could air this out all the way back across the field. We did not have that arm strength at all, and it's an interception. Terrible throw on that one, and that is my bad on that one. User error as Ward comes back out onto the field. Here is Lewis, throw to the right side, and that's a gain of 11. So now they're just about into field goal range. Ward throws across the middle. He's got Carter out of the backfield, first down, and they get it to about the 10-yard line. Is now this drive continues inside the 10. 
Now set up with a second and six. 51 seconds left. Ward tries to scramble, not getting away. That's three sacks already in the first half. Jonathan Thousand gets his first sack of the season. So third and eight this time. Ward tries to scramble, and he gets tackled at about the two. You got to think Arkansas is going to kick this field goal, but they line up to go for it. Fourth and two. We weren't expecting that, so we called the timeout, and now they line up again. Let's see what they run. I'm expecting maybe a run here, maybe an option, but Ward is going to drop back to throw. He scrambles, and he gets around a blitzer, and it's a touchdown. Two yards out. 30 seconds left. Let's see if the St. Louis State River Cats try for the end zone. We have no timeouts, though. Gunnar Johnson throws. It's Chris Whiteside. He's got room, and he gets to about the 44. And now we hurried up to the line. Gain of 22 for Whiteside. As now we get it with 20 seconds left at our own 45. Play action fake. Johnson loads up, throws deep. He's got Zane Storm who goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. The freshman is in. 56 yards. This kid is electric. How do you let him get past the defense like that? Gunnar Johnson just throws it up, actually makes Storm go back and get it, and he just snags it. Wow, what a play here to end the first half. But Arkansas still has a timeout here with 11 seconds left. They hand it off to Carter. Perfect blocking on the right side. And he has the edge. And look at him. He's off to the races as this clock winds down and it gets to one second. And we tackle him inside of field goal range. Wow. We should have let him keep running for at least one more second. That would have been half. Instead, Arkansas kicks a field goal, making it 17 to 16 going into half. Incredible ending. So now we start the second half. Here is this River Cats offense back out onto the field. We have put up quite a bit of numbers here to start this season. Both quarterbacks are doing extremely well as Jamal Wilson checks in, triple option. It's Steven Ford who gets the pitch. First down for him, he moves the chains. So Gunnar Johnson checks back in. This time it's Jamari Tyson at running back. He gets in and falls forward. And that's just a gain of four, but you like to see him getting playing time, you never know. As now we bring it to a second and six. Arkansas sends, it looks like a little stunt blitz and Gonzalo gets it to the right side. First down, gain of 12 yards for him as he moves the chains. So second and seven this time. Gunnar Johnson throws across the middle. He's got Whiteside again. First down, 10 yards for him. He's cooking this season. And now we bring it to about the 20. Handoff. Hollinson cuts up field. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet and falls forward. It's a gain of nine. We are rolling on this drive. So now Gunnar Johnson. He's going to hand off this time. Jamari Tyson. And he gets about two. And that is enough for a first down. And you can just see we're wearing down this defense play by play. So here is Johnson this time. Throws to Storm, who has it. A little bit of room, and he gets hit hard at about the three-yard line. It's just a gain of six. So third and goal this time. Wilson checks in for a little quarterback blast. This time, it's swallowed up in the backfield. Loss of one yard. What is Coach Jay going to do? Will he kick the field goal? And he does, making it 20-16. to 16. It's so three minutes left here in the third quarter. This time it's Ward from the shotgun. Let's see what he does. He swallowed up. Preston Kenny gets to him. There we go. Preston Kenny has had a good start to this season. And that brings it to an eventual third and 16. Screen pass. Picked off Eddie McMack. He's got it. And a touchdown. The senior makes the play. Arkansas, just a bad play call on that one. Just a bad, bad play call and it ends up being a pick six the other way, 27 to 16. So here is Ward this time, running the triple option. Actually, that is the inverted veer. He takes it up the middle, and that brings it to about the 40-something yard line. It's the handoff right up the middle to Carter. Carter falls forward, and it's a gain of 10 yards for him. So our defense really needs to bounce back after last week. We gave up over 50 points as Ward keeps it on a read option. Picks up three, and that brings it to an eventual third and one. They come out with five wide here. Ward 
from the pocket throws to the left side, and he's got King on the sideline, keeping both feet in bounds, it looks like. Gain of 10 for him. So set up at about the 23 now. Ward throws to the left side, and it almost could have been picked off. Who is that over there? I have no idea. DJ Durrell Jr. So now that brings it to a second and eight. This is Ward trying to keep it. Osiris Hovick is there, though, for the tackle in the backfield. Loss of one yard. He's got two tackles for loss in this game. So now third and nine. The third quarter winds down. Another draw play. Carter, and it looks like he's going to get it. A third and nine, and they run a draw play, and they execute. Get the first down. Chains move. So now we start the fourth quarter this time. Another draw play, but this one isn't going to work. You can't run it two times in a row. Odin Blue's too smart. He'll read that in a second. So second and 13 this time. Ward running the speed option to the right. And it's a tackle by Jacob Drackett in the backfield. Okay. So we bring it to a third and 14. Let's get a stop here as they run the screen pass. Not going to work. J.J. Taylor on the stop. Loss of two. And they settle for three. And now here we are with a five-point lead and looking to try to run this clock as J.J. Hollinson gets the first carry. That's a gain of five yards. So now that brings it to a third and five. We audible a couple of times here changing the play. Johnson throws across the middle. He's got Storm incomplete. A rare miss by Gunnar Johnson this season. Oh, and look at this. Coach Jay's line up to go for it. He's going to snap right away and throw. Eric Klug's got it across the middle. That's a first down. Nice catch. Nice throw. So this drive continues now inside the 30. As you run a play action read this time, Johnson tries to lob it. Picked off. And that is Gray. We thought we could get it over the top of the linebacker. That is the third interception of this game. Arkansas has possession under three minutes left. We need to come up with a stop now. So first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. This time it's Ward. He throws across the middle. He's got Carter in a lot of room. We tried to make a play on the ball, and Carter gets all the way to the 48. Gain of 28, first down. So winding down on two minutes left. We set the pressure right away and get there. It's Odin Blue taking over for Javon Warren. He has done excellent so far. That's a big time sack. So now third and 13, Ward throws left side. He's got a man, Bell, on the sideline who's got it. Gain of six, but he needed 12. And that brings it to a fourth and six. This is the game here if we stop them. Ward from the pocket throws, wide open Lewis. He's got it enough for the first down inside the 30. And now, they are in business, down by five. They need six, and they will get seven with the field goal. So here's Ward. This time he scrambles, takes off, gain of eight. So now that brings it to a second and three. Another read option. This time Ward keeps up the middle, gain of four. Another first down, under a minute left. So this time Arkansas hands the ball off. Carter stopped in the backfield. Jacob Drackett, another big play by him. It looks like they're gonna blitz. So now second and long. Ward from the shotgun. He throws to the left side. He's got Bell who cuts inside, cuts back out, and he's got enough for the first down. Gain of 20. Chaz Bell does it himself. And now 47 seconds left at the two. Handoff. Carter is in. Touchdown. Wow. 45 seconds left in this game. And Arkansas has the lead, and they line up to go for two. Let's see what they line up here. Five wide out there. Ward from the shotgun. He's going to try to scramble, it looks like, and he gets tackled. Ryan York stops him. All right, so that one-point lead stays intact. So we have all three timeouts here. 42 seconds left to tie this game up. Gunnar Johnson, does he have some magic in him? Let's see what he does. Snap from the shotgun. Three wide receivers to the right side. He throws deep and wide open. Is Zane Storm all alone? He's not going to be caught. It's a touchdown. He's going to walk in. He tries to waste some time there. But how did that happen? Zane Storm gets behind the defense. And he just gets lost. That safety just loses Zane Storm. And Zane does the rest. Wow. 
So now under 30 seconds left here. Now up by a touchdown as they try to run the ball to the right side. That one will go for about two yards, and they line up to spike it now. 12 seconds left. So now Ward. Another draw play. Carter tries to find room. He picks up the first down. Questionable call right there. They got to be airing this all out. So now they line up with four wide receivers out there. But they run slants. Singletary's tackled, and that is the game. Wow. What a way to end this game. Zane Storm, a huge play. Two touchdowns in this game. Six receptions, 166 yards, and two touchdowns. Wow. Amazing ending to that game to start SEC play. And we are 1-0 in conference play. Wow. Hollinson, 9 for 57. We didn't really get him going too much. But our throwing the ball, we did extremely well. We had one drop the entire game. Zane Storm was pretty good. We threw three interceptions, obviously, but I'm just talking about our receiving core. Did pretty good. And Gunnar Johnson actually did have three interceptions. That's his career high. But we got the victory. I cannot complain here. And you can just see the potential of Zane Storm in this offense. That's the type of big play ability that he possesses. He adds a different dynamic that we've never seen here in this series. And just looking at our defense, at least improved. We gave up 28 points. But it's an improvement from last week. We end up with seven sacks, that is, in this game. I mean, that is just amazing. And nobody had over one. It was just seven different people seven different sacks i mean that's incredible and we had a bunch of tackles for loss as well we actually did way better stopping the run this game than we did last game and i like this type of game that our defense played i mean we just played good solid foundation defense and lsu is our next opponent but next week we will probably air the recruiting special here in season five we have a lot of good recruits but i want to highlight that lsu has a number eight pass defense. So we're not going to be able to pass like we normally are because we will face our former players in Tyson Steele and Joshua Wilson. But like I said, I think next episode will be the recruiting special. But Sean Harwell is a guy to look out for in this LSU matchup coming up in two episodes. This guy is maybe the most talented quarterback I've ever seen on a game because he's only 85 overall. But six foot seven, 242 pounds in 90 speed, you've got to be kidding me. That is a cheat code waiting to happen. It's going to be tough to stop this kid. So next episode will be the recruiting special. Uh, I don't know when that will be out. Probably pretty soon. Uh, but hit subscribe, hit that like button. I can't wait. This is my favorite episode to release. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention It don't matter though, yeah And it don't even matter though, nope Hey, it don't even matter